Sunday night NBA action here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, B.A. Well, the NBA's play-in tournament is exciting. It's a way to keep teams in the mix, but it's had its share of critics. Luka Doncic said, quote, I don't understand it. You play all season to get into the playoffs. Then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out. I don't see the point. Guys? Yeah, Allie, team's definitely motivated to stay in the top six. Good stuff there. Thank you. Man, what a matchup we have tonight, Clark. Both of these teams, powerhouses in the league. B.A., it doesn't get any better than this when you're talking about two of the top teams in the league squaring off. That's primetime must-see TV. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Houston... Here's Edwards. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First team foul. Shooting for Houston. And he makes it first. Taking two shots. And both free throws good for Edwards. Pass to Terry. Tipped. And the layup is good. As pretty much any coach, that's how he'd like to start the game. And it's Houston's ball. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. the arc doesn't go for him and Houston will come the other way and this is probably a game they've been looking forward to since these guys bounced them from the playoffs last year exactly dispatched in the conference semis and so they'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge in this game they should be highly motivated out to the wing to the paint count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed pass just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Edwards going inside, and he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. So it's the home team now. To the middle. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. For Arizona, they've gone three of four to get things going. Pass to Terry. Right wing. Just five to shoot. In transition. Here's Edwards. Rips down the breakaway slam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Moore. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. To the inside. Misses in close. Here's Terry, guarded by Edwards. Drives to the hoop. That one's wide left. Here's Moore. The kick out to Edwards. And there's a pick. 
Let's it fly from 18. And the shot goes down. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. For Houston, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Goes up from the top of the key, and the jumper is on the mark. Edwards got eight points. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Quick check now on the teams that led the league from the charity stripe a year ago. Free throw shooting for this team has become a real priority. They put in the work and they make the most of their opportunities at the stripe. They set the screen. They need this. No good on the shot. And Houston will come the other way. Here's more. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Clock at six. Can't hit. One for two now. For Arizona, they've gone three of eight to get things underway. Here's Terry, guarded by Edwards. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Clark, there's always a lot of player movement in the league in the offseason. How long do you think it takes a team with a reshaped roster to come together? Longer than people want it to take. It usually takes a bit of time. I mean, that's a delicate dynamic when you talk about blending pieces together midstream. Uh, that's sometimes why teams fly under the radar as they're trying to work out their identity. And then when the pieces fall into place, they really uh, are off and running. Down low. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Houston. First free throw is good. Two shots. He's perfect from the line this time. Let's it fly from 18. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Inside. Oh, sweet move. Number Rips it. Oh, I'm off a terrific move. And breaking out the one hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Yes, indeedy. Well done. feet away. They shot that time not on target. And Houston will come the other way. Takes the three. Counted from distance. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm too. And in on the layup. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. So it's the home team now. They've got a nine point lead. Down low. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Houston? You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. 
They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Arizona shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. 146 left in the first quarter of the game. Step back shot. Francis grabs the board. And it's Houston's ball. They're on an 18-6 run. They set the pick to the paint. It's intercepted! Houston foul. Walker. First personal foul. Second team foul. The visitors with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Walker covering to the wing, right side. All sorts of time. And you see that in building their lead. They've done an impressive job on the defensive glass. Yeah, you're right. Not one second chance bucket for the opposition. They're boxing out on every shot. Into the lane. He drops it from range. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punch blazing. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Buries Number it from three. Or three. Five points in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Francis. Off the mark from 16 feet. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Fires top of the key. That one a little long. For Houston, they've got 8 of 13 attempts to go. Here's Walker. From the low block. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And you know, nothing like getting That's in a phone on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are 13. landing some haymakers now. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Up by 12. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Outside Edwards. There's a screen. Shot clock at six. Over to the left wing. No good from outside. Arizona shooting about 35% so far in this game. And for Houston. Over to the wing. Fires from deep. Gets the three ball to go. Seven points in the game. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age. And this guy can really stretch the floor. Oh, wasted no time on that one. And Houston leads by 10. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And for Houston. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. That one's good by Moore. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. To the left side wing. Takes it inside. From the right block. Second shot opportunity. And the Number layup 26. is up and in. 
they just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Wildcats foul. Zero. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for Houston. Number 35. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. get that one to fall and Houston will come the other way after this one they're off to Los Angeles to take on the Clippers and that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home there's the triple fires in the triple he's got five they're getting torched on the perimeter four of the last five buckets have been threes it's hard for me to watch this I mean the defense practically giving them those shots to be a you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Shoots from 12. Got a hand on it. There's the screen. And he drops Number in the layup off the glass. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Out to the right wing. Pass to Edwards. Here's more. Just five on the clock. Puts up a three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Here's Terry. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Jacks up a three. Can't hit that one. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. For Arizona, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. To the inside. Oh, nice. oh big finish. Man. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. I agree. I mean, now's when they need a spark the most. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. For Arizona, they've gotten 7 of 10 attempts to drop in the second quarter. There's the screen. The three. Hey, now Number five ten. for eight. Shooting a pretty good three. percentage right now. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Free throw line jumper. Oh, and he can't make that one. Two for three now. It's first miss. To the middle. And a strong finish with two hands. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with Alan Grant. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Timeout call. Time out. Houston. Well, the pace of the game has picked up over the years. Grant, you played on teams that played all style. Did you sense the direction the game was going in? Yeah, towards the end of my career, B.A., you could see that the up-tempo teams got more and more successful. So it was inevitable that other teams would follow suit. As we know, trends catch on fast and quick in the NBA. All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting teams from last season. 
Houston, fourth. And the way both of these squads shot the ball last season was tremendous. Trusting in one another, following their offensive game plan, and executing with confidence. Outside Walker. To the inside. It's stolen. On the break. Fires the three. This is his fourth shot of the night. Still hasn't hit one yet. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. 19, 19. To the right side. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. For Houston, they've gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. There's a screen. Leans from outside. That one off the back iron and out. Not really necessary with nobody on you. I mean, why put yourself off balance on that shot when you're wide open? Two open that time. Made it look easy. Give him eight. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. One minute left in the first half. Down low. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. For Houston, they've got seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Launches it. The shot, no good. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Driving in. Off target at the rim. And Houston is shooting 55% for the game so far. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. For three. That won't go. This is his first shot of the game. Arizona shooting the ball at 48% so far. To the paint. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. From deep. And so it's Houston leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And, folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Welcome, everyone, as we dig into the details. Things working out so far for Houston. Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. And now let's talk about the clash of the Titans in that first half. Big time performances on both sides. We've got a heavyweight clash on our hands. This is a star-driven lead. You got two fierce leaders going head to head. Both guys trading blows as each one tries to wield his own team to victory. So get some fresh popcorn ready. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And 
you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. Uh, things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And I like it. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a sure-handed lay in there, but for me, I don't mind a little extra. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Tight Edwards. Here's the pick. Six on the shot clock. Offline with a three. Takes a step back. Inside. Oh, he drains it. His six making nine tries so far. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. a minute played as the second half gets going. With the fadeaway. The shot off that time. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. You know, using his size advantage there to rip down that board in traffic. 90 seconds into the second half now. Takes a three. Knocks it down from distance. Give him eight. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Down low. It's picked off. In transition. Here they come. Misses from short range. For Arizona, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Into the third. Two minutes in now. To the wing on the left. Fires at the elbow. And that Zero. one's good. Tough for a defender to challenge the shot when the height differential is so pronounced. To the inside. And he goes strong with the one-handed chance. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. To the middle. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. There's the drive. And the layup is good off the glass. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. So it's the home team now. At one point, they led by 16. Misses the layup. For Arizona, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. To the paint. Shot, left block. Shooting for Arizona. Number 36. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And Houston is shooting it well. Almost 50% from the floor. Floats one up. He's off on that one. Arizona shooting 54% from the field so far on this one. They set the pick. Down low. Powered down after the assist. Led him to the lane. I just love the aggressive finish. Oh, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Off target from the baseline. For Arizona, they've got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. 
That one's good. Seven for ten now. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Pass to Moore. Now Edwards. Six to shoot. And again, another missed shot. They set a pick with the drive. It's rebounded by Moore. Back to Edwards. To the middle. Moore shot is off. For Arizona, they've got six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. From deep. It's rebounded by Moore. Moore's got four rebounds now. Inside. Can't connect from short range. Here's Terry, guarded by Edwards. To the inside. It's rebounded by Moore. Moore's got five rebounds in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. It's Edwards on the wing. Give him eight points now. That one no good. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. The three. Sinks it from distance. He's got nine. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here, let's see which teams racked up the assists during last year's campaign. And if you have to ask, what's the name of the game? Well, it's all about ball movement for them. They love to share the rock. And we all know that assists are a great indicator of how well the team is executing. Both free throws good for Walker. For Arizona, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Count it. Good. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to Two attack that area. Third. Two minutes. One fifty-two left in the third. Off with the layup. For Arizona, they've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. And he's going for the lob! And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Here's Walker. There's a minute 26 left to play in the third quarter here. A shot from the mid-range. And that was good. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Here's the three. Hits the trifecta. He's got seven points. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. 
offline with a baseline jumper. Arizona shooting 56% today. The three is up. It's not going to go for him. And Houston will come the other way. Beyond the arc. And no good. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And Houston is shooting 40% from the field in this one. It's Walker on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third. Both teams putting up some points. Up nine. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Get ready for the fifth quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. It's the fourth quarter crowd. Get the fourth quarter round. action is upon us. Outside Edwards. This one for three. That's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Pass to Terry. Four, three. It's a three-pointer. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Really left it alone that time. Oh, example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. Out to the right wing. Let's it fly. Misses the jumper from the wing. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. He went a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. To the middle. And he jams it home with authority. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Edwards. Tries to keep it alive. Top of the key jumper, no good. There's the three. Edwards pulls it in. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. To the paint. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. Let's it go from 11. Not able to get that one. And Houston will come the other way. Pass to Moore. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good and he'll go to the line. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. Nice no shot. For Arizona, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. 
Here's Terry, guarded by Edwards. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul. At the line for the Wildcats. Number 10. First one falls. also good so he hits both free throws just over two and a half minutes played now final quarter of regulation there's the drive takes it up with both hands and rips it down making sure of it with the two hand slam BA yeah I don't blame him when you score this tight you cannot take a chance here I get the feeling guys that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game the shot by Terry no good for Houston, they've got five of six shots to go in the fourth. The leaner. Rebound by Terry. Arizona shooting 52% from the floor so far. Fires for three. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Houston shooting around 44%. Not bad. Outside Edwards. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Out to the right wing. Just four to shoot. The three ball nails it from beyond the arc. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Let's the three fly. Edwards pulls it in. For Houston, they've got six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. To the left wing. Here's Moore. That one's good. This game is all even. Moore's got six in the quarter. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Can't get it to drop. For Houston, they've gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. And here's Edwards. And he lobs it up. And he lays in the alley. Two pass. And Houston leads by two. Nice touch on both ends of that alley. -oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Neither did the defense. To end the run. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. T-shirt Bonanza, make some noise! Get ready for the Deer Squad! Now, let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Guys, thanks a lot. I had a chance to hear what Mike Malone was saying to his team. He just wanted his players to get a breather and to remind them, stick with the game plan. He wants them to stay patient and run their plays, even if they have to go deep into the shot clock. Back to you. All right, appreciate it, Allie. That shot, no good. For Arizona, they've gone four for 10 in the fourth. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Wildcats. Number 10. At the line for two. And 
And the first one at the line is good. It's both from the stripe. Yeah, they've really I'm made a concerted <laughs> effort to get to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. For Houston, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Inside. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. Boy, I like how quickly he can bounce past there. Hard to defend against that. Arizona shooting 52% from the floor so far. Pass to Terry. Launches a three. Knocks down the long chain. He's never going to pass up that shot. The defense giving him way too much room. Down low. And he throws it down with one hand. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Misses with a tough leaning jump shot. And it's Houston's ball. Outside Walker to the right side. From downtown, sinks the tray. And Houston leads by two. You would expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. For Arizona, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Terry. Good on the shot. That's where they'd like all their shots to come from. 121 left to play in the fourth quarter. Timeout call. Houston. The score is tied at 82. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter. There's a minute 17 left to play in the fourth quarter. It's Edwards with a drive. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. There's a minute 12 left in the game. Here's Terry, guarded by Edwards. Boom, he jams it straight down. Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Boy, nice way to punctuate that possession. To the inside. Count it! Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Arizona timeout call. Seconds left in the game. Let's it go from deep. Oh, nails the triple. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth. Pass to 
to Moore. From behind the arc. The shot no good. Houston foul. Edwards. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Terry. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And that one hits the back iron. Edwards with it. Oh, so good! Yeah, and if you can't force the turnover on that play, that's not a bad foul. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. And there's the one saving grace of that situation. Ooh, knocks down the clutch free throw. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. Nicely done. Without much separating these teams, that's when you have to make good at the line. feet away. Missed it! And so they foul intentionally. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's going to be fat. That's a good foul, though. I like that. The clock management at this time of the game. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And that'll put him up two. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a three-point game. Question is, now can they protect the three-point lead he's given them? So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. Now let's check our New Balance Player of the Game.